Well friends, Mama is on the loose today. We have so much shopping that we're gonna be doing. Super mega list. I have seasonal things that I need. For this whole posse of kiddos that look like me, we're gonna first go into the children's place. We have other stores, other reasons, super mega lots, but let's go into the children's, is this called? I always say it's called the children's place. It's called Once Upon a Child. Let's go in here first. Cute little things already. I always say this is the store I wish I knew about years and years ago. <laughs> so my 12 and 14 year old, it is hard for me to find things for them here, but I'm gonna look. Uh, but my kids 10 and under, I can still get things here for them. So yeah, I have big guys. They're out of these 16 sizes already. There's some 20s. They just need the men's section. But while we're here, we will look. It doesn't even look like it's a 20. It looks like a ladies medium. These look small. And of course, we're having 105 degree heat waves now that it's September in Virginia. But I am looking for fresh fall things. I love some good bib overalls. See, these are fours. These will be too big for Tobin right now. And really Tobin's in like 2T, 3T now. God, if I'm away, I think I'm somehow in 12 months shorts here. So this is a 14. I'm sorry, now I'm over here in the girls section. I made a wrong turn looking for my 10 year old. Um, she is so tall. So this would almost be like, you know, long shirt with like a tunic shirt with leggings. Uh, but she is a horse girl. So I'm gonna get that for her. And then what else do we have here? Although this doesn't really qualify for fall. Hmm, well we can layer. Have to, I like so many things. Oh my goodness, if this has cats and it's long sleeve. Okay, sizes. Okay, that's saying 14, 16. So this, again, she's gonna love that. This is amazing. This is, this is going to be everything to her right here. And price-wise, $4.50. Yay. It's warm fuzzies. Okay, I do like this one. Find the price, find the price. So easy to find girl stuff. Look at this. The, some of the polka dots are kitties. I just love it. And this is the color I'm going for with the front doors. You know it's my favorite. Okay, so Mama did a pretty good job understanding this assignment. <laughs> I at least have a good bit of stuff here. Not all of it, but a good, good first go at um, stuff for four kiddos. So we will go get checked out here in a minute. Just doing one last roll through. And so I did go into Old Navy. There have been times where I've gotten great t-shirt deals and pants deals and just good things for my kids there. And some, hey, hey, mama's, maybe mama's future flannels. Uh, but I looked at it on this day. I tried real hard. I try hard with that green dress. We're gonna try it on here in a minute. I looked through the clearance section also. And so they had lots of things for $9.99 and under. Uh, we have had a full circle moment. The bodysuits are back in style. All my 90s ladies. <laughs> Those aren't new, okay? <laughs> We've been here before, haha. -ha. So they have uh, different jeans here. So I'm looking here for my 10 year old. And I just decided I, I don't, classic middle aged mom thing, right? I didn't want to spend money on pants that already had a ton of holes in them. <laughs> so I skipped the jeans. There were no jeans without holes. They did have some $6 t-shirts, but I wasn't looking for t-shirts. I wanted sleeves. Um, they did have some cute Pika sweatshirts and some Mario sweatshirts, but those were $49. So, so this is the dress that I'm given a try. It's not really off the shoulders like that, but I wasn't sure how else to show it to you all. Uh, anyway, we're gonna give this a shot. See if it works. So I don't know, I'm trying. So there's the dress, mm -hmm. how to be a fashion vlogger. Um, I really would have liked it to be one size 
bigger. You know, it was okay, and it was pretty long on me for all 5'4". I decided for the price I wasn't going to go with it. If it would have been half price, um, I probably, probably would have gotten it, but not for, I don't know, I think it was like anywhere between $50 and $70, okay? It was not $50 to $70 good. Now, here we are. We are over in Belk and I am still looking for, I ha have myself on my list as well because I have several appointments and meetings where I have to dress up like a grown up. What is that? And so I was trying to, yeah, bumping along in my cart, but let's visit the pajamas too. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Get inspired with cozy pajamas. So I just wanted to, we're looking at housewares, looking at baskets, looking at some beautiful quilts, but it's not what I was on the market in the market for that day. I was going to get whatever kids clothes I could get off my list and if I could get myself a few grown-up outfits then I would need to do that as well but they do have some fall things here. I really liked the fall comforter and pillow shams and then the really fun fall quilts. I mean you could have those now September through November. Christmas trees are out. Lots of purses. I love looking at purses, but you know, my favorite place to get what I consider a good a good purse is TJ Maxx. Um, I like to get my good purses there. But I'm looking, looking at the dresses. You know, I did pretty well with my Amazon summer dresses. And so I was just seeing if it had anything in the store that could qualify. But I do have some things to try on here. I am definitely going to try on this jacket. Now what I like about some of these jackets that they had is that they were petite size and since I am short, uh, it was just nice to put some jackets on where the sleeves didn't cover my hands. I don't know about hemming things. My mom is the seamstress and I just, I missed that jean, haha. -ha. So I was gonna try on some things that actually actually fit me like a grown-up. They had some fancy dancy dresses there and some different shirts. I really love that first dress that I'm showing you, both those dresses I loved. And so we're gonna try those on as well. This is my first attempt at a try-on haul. So I'm not so sure about this one. I mean, everything here is like for real prices. And uh, I don't think, although I don't mind it from the front, I don't think that I love it enough. It doesn't have pockets either to, to commit. At least that's what I'm telling myself right now. So it's $94. Now a lot of things out there are 30 to 50% off, but even at 50% off, I don't think this is 50% off price good either. Although I didn't totally hate it, uh, but yeah, we'll just, good, good thing we tried it on. Alrighty, fashion vlogger, haha. -ha. So without the poofy hair in our 105 degree heat today, I think that this one might actually do pretty well. Um, not sure though. I really like my Amazon dresses. <laughs> So I like this jacket. I like the arms that it has on it, how they're gathered like that. That's a, a thing mama likes. I just have my tank top on underneath of this, so I would need to have a better dress shirt under it. And I would just wear it open. These are some jean type pants. Um, and I always like, you know, I like these colors, I like my tans and my fall colors. Uh, so yeah, definitely would need another dress shirt, boots, something but I do think I'm gonna get this jacket because I can get a lot of use out of it, even if I'm re-wearing my Amazon dresses <laughs> um, in the fall and winter, I can use this. Now the pants I picked up to try on with this jacket that went with it, I did not, I did not get the right size and that's okay. But these, these are the Gloria Vanderbilt brand and they usually do me pretty well, so I would wear these with it too. And this jacket too, um, it's a good price. It says it's clearance, so we'll see what it rings up as. I don't know how this situation's gonna turn out. I can wear the jacket separately. We're gonna 
see about this dress. Alrighty, so here's my collection that I'm gonna go with. The dress with this jacket was a sad situation, but all these other jackets I'll get multi-purpose use out of, and then both these pants. And here's everything that did not win the prize. I loved this one. This is my heart and soul here. They did not have it in my size, and I brought it back just to try, and it didn't like me, but that's okay, to Amazon we'll go. Okay, 100 degrees in Virginia. The heat index, it feels like 107. Hello, September. And so Mama is hydrating. I got a uh, iced coffee, no sweetener. I'm gonna, I got my stevie I'm gonna add in it, and then unsweetened tea with lemon. I will drink it all. Now we're gonna go into Ollie's. It's been a long time since I've been in here. I'm also trying to do my shopping scheduled around. I still gotta go do some food shopping for a separate video. And since now, my little happy dash is saying 101 degrees, I'm getting all not food shopping <laughs> done first. We are gonna take in both of my much needed Walmart beverages though, because I don't wanna leave them in the vehicle. But let's go into Ollie's and see what we see. This is for pure fun, okay? You know if I see stuff for the kids. I'm gonna get stuff for the kids, but this is, let's go in for fun. And so into Ollie's we go, and I am having fun. We are just having fun looking at all these kid books and different titles. Look at that one. You are loved, so precious. Some titles I have heard of before and some I have not, but we're just gonna take a good look at everything. Now, when I was filming this video, I was getting ready to start our fresh homeschool year. It's my 19th year as a homeschool mom. Where is my cookie? And my children are rolling into a fresh year. And so I wanted to get just some of these big early learning books. It's great for, you know, the two-year-old and even the six-year-old to roll through and, yeah, just to have as an option. And so I wanted to get some early learning books. I also wanted to get some, some of the coloring books and some of these little project books. I love, I love these anatomy kits that they had, and then the stained glass art, and then these dinosaur digging kits. Those are great because as we get warmed up and rolling into our fresh school year, that first week or two, it, it just, I have found it to go well if I have some extra activity kits for younger kids while I'm getting my older kids going, potentially. And so these Bob books are also a good deal. I have all of those. Use those with my children. The tall people set, man, we have that first, the green one, but we've never read the other two. The first one was very good, if you wanna add that to your library list. But I definitely like these crafty kits. They are welcome in my homeschool cabinet. And then these little crochet kits were $3.99 each. So I picked up two of those. I did not know which child would want to do it, but I got them and I figured, you know, with a bunch of kids, someone will be interested. They also had Bible covers, which was nice. Some nice Bible cover options there. Some with the carrying case handle. And a variety of books to read. Lots of journals and devotionals. So I thought it was fun because several bloggers that I've known over the years, I saw their books here, so that was neat. I like the title of that devotional. And so I just like reading titles and seeing what different books are out there. And then lots of art books. Again, I, I love how Ollie's feels like a bargain hunt. And of course, all kinds of wonderful cookbooks. I resisted them all, but I loved visiting. So Ollie's had a wide variety of food options, coffee pods, food sealers. They had games, they had school supplies. They just, they had so much. Lots of cleaning products, so many toys. I feel like there were six or seven aisles just of toys. So if you are one who likes to stock up ahead for Christmas and birthdays, if you have an Ollie's in your general area, it would definitely be worth going in and having a look. I looked at more of their science kits, and those were fun. I didn't end up getting any, but 
I definitely looked at them. They had lots of yard flags and yard supplies. Hammock deals. I've got three hammocks up right now, but I thought, oh, they need to look for hammocks here next time I need them. They had a lot of fishing equipment, laundry detergent, and they had a bunch of food. This was interesting. It was like a slushy in a bag. I don't know what to do with that. But they had these brown white brown rice and quinoa cups. And now I like these little, it's a, you know, you don't have to have it, but I do like the small brown rice cups, especially with my little um, Trim Healthy Mama attempts. Whenever we have traveled or I just need some convenience items, I will get those. And so I got several of the brown rice and quinoa because then I can just add my protein with it and uh, go from there. That was interesting. It was pineapple. And then they had lots of Green Giant brand cans. Nothing that really, you know, matched Sharp Shopper prices, but still, I mean, if you don't have a Sharp Shopper, please check Ollie's. They, they did have some... Some different interesting things. They had some soup deals, which is convenient for lunches. Okay, this will be fun. I have not been in here in several months also, and I do love it. It is one of my very favorites. So I don't know if you have a pop shelf in your area or not. We only have one in our area so far, but they just, they have beautiful home decor. So it's not like a Dollar Tree. It's uh, kind of Dollar Tree and five and below or five below um, meat home goods kind of you know there's holiday items there's a lot of decor but they also had summer items all of their summer items were clearance 70 percent off so i did get this snake sprinkler since september it can still be pretty hot here in virginia and so that was worth it for a couple bucks all kinds of balls and bubbles they also have hair products and they'll have makeup, and they have toiletries. They have pet supplies. Of course, I like to visit the headbands and tell myself, you don't need any more headbands, but there you go, friends. That's where you can get a bunch of headbands. I haven't bought any makeup there either, but they do have a lot of makeup. And again, with all the beautiful home decor for indoors and outdoors, I just want all of it, and I resist all of it. So again, where's my cookie, haha? -ha. Lots of pumpkins for fall ribbons i did get some more leave-in care conditioner and some mama razors <laughs> and uh yeah got some self-care items for this mama also i've been having requests for more band-aids so i got three boxes of one dollar band-aids i also got two little emergency first aid kits for both of my vehicles because i recently had karen morris come on over in my large family table community membership and she was just she has a whole new book now called mom on the run i believe it's just all about having your purse and your car prepped for emergencies and i was thinking i don't even have band-aids in my car so i just got two of those little kits you can see they have so many foil pans in here, different loaf pans and 9 by 13 pans and lasagna pans and cake pans and turkey pans. Um, I like these different little nesting box food storage kits that they had. They have a lot of refrigerator organization items here as well. Look at that. Put your carrot sticks in that, right? Lots of baskets and different meal prep containers as well. And so again, things are not a dollar, but they're they're affordable. I mean, you may get things that are $10, $20, but those are like high-end home furnishings. Everything else is just a couple dollars here and there. I had some keto cookbooks and easy paleo cookbooks, really cute avocado themed cutting boards and coasters. Just thought that was precious like that a lot i did not get it but we looked cost nothing to look little salsa bowls all kinds of fun items for a theme taco night here are my, these are my fancy towels uh-huh and then lots of cups and bowls and uh, plates and such for cheap and this is going to be my new birthday store if i can remember please remember uh, so many fun birthday decorations and plates and streamers lots of fun themes as well now i also i like the art supplies at pop shelf 
And look at this, there's a wood burning kit complete with a soldering iron. And you can do a 3D flower craft project for $5. Just so many beautiful things. My kids love to save up their money and come in here and they'll get journals and art supplies and toys. Here's another $5 flower kit and that looks very intricate, but very good, very nice. Lots of fun creative projects poster boards, art paper, paint kits, little small traveling journals. Here's more. I really like that sign, the picture that said, bless, 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 bless. And I held it, I looked at it, but I resisted. Now I wish I could go back and get it. Um, lots of candles, candle holders, a really fun toy area, a Keanu Reeves coloring book. But what I love is all the journals. I'm going to show those to you in a minute. We've got lots of coloring books here and crayons and paint, activity pads, markers. Look at the journals, the journals, the planners. I just love to visit them. So many great ones. And again, more toys. Now I do get inspired with the Play-Doh thinking fresh homeschool year. Yes, in different seasons, I have been the homemade Play-Doh mom. But right now, for 2023 and probably 2024, I'm calling myself the low bandwidth mom. Okay, I'm going for easy. I'm going for easy. You know, easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what I need. Well, friends, I am back from all of our super mega shop in all the stores last evening. I have so many fantastic things to share with you. So let's have a look and see what we got. Tis the season. So we have had drought going on in Virginia. We've also had, uh, yesterday was 101, up to 107 heat index, all kinds of carrying on in September. But I am preparing for times of coming <laughs> that, are not, that are not hot like this, where we need sleeves. And while I was out yesterday, it was on my list. Of course, as always, there's always many more things on my list. And so we at least check I was able to go into Once Upon a Child, that's it, right? I always call it Children's Place, and do a first sweep through on what they did have. I knew that my older kids, they wouldn't have a lot there, but I knew that Tobin, I'd probably be able to get a lot of his stuff there, and for my six and eight year old, a little bit for my 10 year old, so that worked out well. My next sweep through is Costco. And so I wasn't able to go to Costco yesterday. It probably would be best to have the older kids with me, picking out their own stuff. Uh, so we'll be doing that maybe even this, this Sunday after church. We'll be going through kids clothes at Costco. And then like some fresh pajamas for the younger kids. And they always have really nice like double and triple shirt sets there. I don't know what Costco has kids clothing wise this fall. But I'm excited to find out. But let me show you what I got at not the children's place, Once Upon a Child. So we'll just start right here. So I have this nice stack of size eight boy clothes that my eight-year-old will wear and my six my six-year-old will also probably end up in at some point. We have Batman, and so many of these were like two and three dollars a piece. Yeah, I mean for country boys that are gonna roll and play. That was $3.50. We have a Superman. Mm -hmm. We have Minions. Awesome, right? We have, now this one I'm already getting requests. Can I wear that now? Can I wear that now? Monster Trucks. Tobin is gonna to love this. It will not fit him now. And then we had apparently a kiddo that was done with their Ninja Turtle shirts because we have, i scratch my nose, excuse me, two Ninja Turtle shirts and then we have this Victory Comes Naturally shirt and this was looking to see Cat and Jack. Okay, so that's those. I only found two sweatshirts for my six and eight year old there, but this one already got lots of laughs. It's a popsicle. He's got little eyes winking there with a hood and then an old navy sweatshirt as well. I looked at the kids clothes whenever we did go into Old Navy I just wasn't 
I don't know. It's the, I wasn't super impressed. I mean, sometimes I've gone into Old Navy when I'm looking for kids' clothes, and I find quite a bit. They had some cute sweatshirts for this age range, but they were $35 to $49 each, and I'm just not going to pay that for one Minecraft sweatshirt for kids that are going to roll in the dirt in it. Okay, okay. So, yeah, just couldn't find much when I went into Old Navy. Uh, but back to not, no, I always said not once upon a child. Back to once upon a child. <laughs> um, pants for Tobin. We got some nice little little fall britches for him to roll around in and uh, always rip through things so I don't have bags and bags of leftovers for Tobin. Um, for my five and six year old, I did get, they had like some little polo association jeans, some old navy pants. I mean, these boys rip the knees out of everything all my boys have, which is fine. So that's why these had the tags on them, kind of some retro looking sweatpants, but they'll get worn. Also, maybe two weeks ago, I took everyone into Dick's Sporting Goods and everyone got fresh Crocs or tennis shoes, but everyone also got the Crocs. And so we've never had these little charms or whatever you call it that you put in there. Um, so I got a variety. We've got cheeseburgers, we've got Mater, we've got a cement truck, we've got flowers, we have a turtle helicopter. So I'm gonna pour these out later and let my 10 year old, my eight year old, my six year old, and my two year old pick out the little pieces for their crocs. That'll be fun. And I'm trying to think, oh, whenever we went, they had a pair of Minecraft crocs that had the little pieces in it. My six year old really wanted those with everything that was within his soul. But the size was just, it was like a year off or more. And so I told him, we'll come back for those. But I just give my mom approval for Crocs because yeah, you, you'll spend, I mean, you get them on sale for less, but $50 or so on a good pair. But then my kids just wear them to pieces. We end up with farm Crocs. That'll be their old pair. So their old Crocs will be farm, messing around in the mud crocs and then they have their going out crocs <laughs> um and that'll be like big historical field trip tomorrow where you're going out crocs so back to tobin uh we got just a nice little shark sweatshirt he'll like that i can see this in our future this guy needs a nap uh-huh this was just and this was you know two dollars and fifty cents nice dinosaur long sleeve shirt just in anticipation I mean maybe a month for now although our leaves are falling and then I got three of these um, they're from you know they're the Walmart brand three dollars and fifty cents but they were new let's see here I got this color this is two dollars and fifty cents what did I pay for you no you were 350 why are you 250 I think it depends also on how long things have been in the store so maybe that was it and then I got him this one this one was also $2.50. So these are nice just because they have the little hoods already. Wait until you see the sweater that I got him. I need him to be able to wear this as soon as possible. It's so cute. Okay. So cool to be kind. Seriously handsome. And then we have a Dino's Rule shirt. And then just a cool looking dinosaur. And then brace yourself. Okay. I'm just picturing him in some khakis this fall, this winter. Um, let me just get it up here. It's just, it's precious, it's navy blue. It matches the new color of the house. Look at that stitching on the front. It's just everything. $4.50 of happiness. Sure, I probably could have paid, what, $25, $35 for it, but if I can find it, if I can go in, and there's a sea of clothes for $4.50 for a cute little sweater, mama's doing it. And of course, you know, as we did that try on haul, I've got some stuff I've got to dress up for coming up and uh, going, going on the next few months. So I wanted to get myself like some nice jackets that even this is a summer dress, but I could dress this up with like that nice tan jacket and some boots. There's ways I can mix and match it. In the past, I have found really good suit jackets at the thrift store. It's just yesterday the list, the list was long and deep and wide. But I did get two videos mostly filmed yesterday and that's a great mom, a run around day out. But I'll show you those jackets again. They were also good for me, cause you know, I'm 44 and I've never bought 
a new to me suit jacket and I'm also a petite size at least as far as a height and it was just nice to get some jackets that were cut to petite size so I don't have you know the, the sleeves hanging over my hands and stuff but to my 10 year old now she'll get quite a bit whenever we uh, roll through Costco but the things that I got her yesterday We've got this nice little shirt with the kitties on it. And I looked, there were some things, um, I really was looking at the pants heavy at Old Navy, but everything had rips in it and they were all, I mean, they weren't $9. I wanna say they were 29 or so. It might've been buy one, get one 50% off. They were expensive jeans in my mind and they had holes all through them already. And I know that's a classic mom thing, right? But. I just didn't want to buy her pants with holes in them. Full price, okay. So we got a Cherokee long sleeve shirt. This just this is a Gap sweater, um, $8.50, but nice for winter. And then the dresses, I got her that has some horses on it. Also, she's going to flip out when she sees this, but this is all the kitties, all the kitties. And then this is just because I think this is cute. Does it have pockets? Everything should be required to have pockets, but nice up. This will, this is the color of the front doors, ha ha. Um, and then I got her this nice tie-dye sweatshirt. It at least has pockets. And then this is nice. This was $5 and 50 cents. Um, Cat and Jack brand, just nice little pullover as well. And what I did find for my 10 year old there, and she's tall, uh, they had these brand new pants. They're kind of wide legs, so hello, 90s, yay. Um, $4.50. And then these are really cute. Yeah, these are Ralph Lauren and cute little belt. And looks like uh, whatever, $59, but $5.50. And then also, got this jacket um cute with pockets i think she had you all remember i got her something similar to this maybe last year or the year before and she's just a taller girl now so um five dollars and fifty cents for this pockets all the way down and then lots of things to get ready as we're rolling into the fresh school year so i just got a uh, sampling of fresh coloring books. Of course, we've got the Ninja Turtles with the crayons. I'm keeping in mind that as we roll into our fresh year school routines, we do have a two and a half year old that wants to do school with us and a six year old that, you know, might want a coloring break, those sort of options. So I got just some books to, to pass around when needed, not our curriculum, but just playing around fun also um where did i get this oh this was from that store uh with the clothes candy corn county and i thought tis the season and we will work on that next week um so these were from ollie's also from ollie's these human body kits i thought were great because these are going to definitely i wish they would have had more but I got two of them. Um, so honestly, this will probably end up being my six-year-old and my eight-year-old going through these. A lot of things are with the younger kids in mind because we have older kids doing high school and middle school and all kinds of other activities. Um, so these human body kits come with uh, body charts and stickers and you can make your own skeleton. You got uh, 20 fact cards and a 40 page book and a poster and again for four dollars and 99 cents i just thought this is a great great day of or a great hour of homeschool learning definitely worth the five dollars this crochet kit says everything you need to make captain america and spider-man but it has the crochet directions to make 12 marvel superheroes so i don't know who is going to be interested in these but I know I have people who will, and I do try to keep fun things like this on hand. Also got this little sloth book because I have a kiddo who loves sloths and I thought they would like this. And then this brown rice and quinoa, 99 cents. This is for me. I mean, anyone else is more than welcome to have it. Just quick little, um, you know, if I had some rotisserie chicken, I could heat up one of these 
that's my portion size and not too much thinking, which is what my brain requires right now. And so also again, everything heavy, this, these items are for the two year old, six year old, the eight year old, because those are the busy boys right now. Um, for when my six and eight year old need it, we have this ultimate dig your own T-Rex book and kit. These were $6.99. And again, I consider this an afternoon of fun. And their schoolwork doesn't take all day every day, but of course older kids are having a longer day. So this is just something that if, uh, hey, you wanna go do that T-Rex kit at the picnic table or here at the end of this table, while well, we continue to work on this, but they have a whole book. And they have the, the dig and discover set there. Um, and they have what the assembled model looks like. So again, worth it. And then also thinking of my 10 year old properly. Um, and of course her workload has increased, but this is a ultimate stained glass art kit and little pieces there. Sorry, I saw someone walk by and I was like, who's walking by, but I know now. So this wraps up what I got for our fresh homeschool extra activities for younger kiddos from Ollie's. And then at Pop Shelf, I had to think, it's not, not five below, I do not have a five below here. Uh, all their summer stuff, which again, hello, 101, 107 degree weather, we're not going outside in that, but we're still having summer, September. Um, summer stuff was 70% off. So this is an outdoor snake sprinkler. Looks like a lot of fun. I only paid a couple bucks for it. Um, also, with the kids homeschooling, many of them have computers or DVD players or what have you for different subjects, just depending on the age and stage. And I don't know about you, we always, we always have headphone situations. So these were $5 a piece. Now, if we get, could, could they get us through the fall? I don't know. We, we don't know these things. We don't tell the headphones, the headphones tell us, right? Uh, so I got, see, two, four, six, eight, ten. Got ten headphones. I have six that will need headphones for different things. They already have headphones for their games and such. But anyway, I needed some school headphones for when that's necessary. So we're gonna give the Pop Shelf headphones a try. And then, I'm saving the Play-Doh stuff. Um, I wanted, I was inspired because Karen Morris, who's my friend who wrote A Year Without the Grocery Store, and she's over here on YouTube now. I believe her channel, and I'm saying it like this because I'm not looking at it right now, is Are You Prepared Mama? And she has a new book called Mom on the Run, and it's basically just about being prepped and ready when you're out and about as a mom with whatever, she has, again, whole book on it, whole great teaching. She was just live the other night with me over in the Large Family Table community, and she did a whole long Zoom talk with us about all the little things you just need to be prepared for when you're out. Just like I always make sure I have a couple pairs of contacts in my makeup bag that are in the little dailies holder and I have a pair of glasses because if my contacts, if I get something in them, if I lose them, if I get water in them, whatever happens, I can't see to drive home or to drive any further. It's all a blur. So that's just one of the things that I'm prepared for in my purse and she talked about having our cars prepared, having your purses prepared, just phenomenal. So again, her new book is called Mom on the Run and I would show it to you but it's actually, it's out in my car because I took it with me where I went for good internet to do the Zoom call. Anyway, Pop Shelf has these little Band-Aid travel kits. These were a dollar, 36 Band-Aids, little non-stick pad. I could have made my own for cheaper, but I don't have Band-Aids in my car right now. And so for a $2 investment, I at least have these. So there's the thing. And then for a little more than a dollar a pack, I got these just regular old cheapo plastic Band-Aids. Let me tell you, there's, they're, they're gonna use them. And then also the heavily, heavily used item at my house is tape. So I got four packs of tape, that's eight rolls. Will it be here next week? Probably not because when we have tape, we have all the crafting projects and inspiration galore. Um, and then we get to the Play-Doh. And so a big Play-Doh inspiration hit while I was there, which is fine because 
my mama brain was thinking things for these little boys during transition times or however it's needed during our busy homeschool days. I've certainly had many, many seasons where I make homemade Play-Doh on the stove. We pick our color or colors depending. We'll keep it in separate baggies. I have somewhere a big tote with all the little Play-Doh items. There are times where I have been the perfect Play-Doh mom. I have, I feel like, oh, little flaws, yay. And you know, we have the little rolling pins and all that. Again, I'm a mama who needs a few little extra helping hands right now. So I just went ahead and got us a couple fresh Play-Doh things that they can also have the joy of opening as the weeks progress. And so like one day I might give each of those three young boys one of these little Play-Doh trucks. Maybe that my six and eight year old aren't interested and so Tobin might get a new little Play-Doh truck every couple days. I have these options in my homeschool mama arsenal, right? Of uh, things that we may need. Just a very basic, and most of these were $5 or a couple dollars each. And many of these are in our Play-Doh stash that my brain just can't handle finding out where it is right now and getting it up here and cleaned out and set up and all that. So we'll definitely have some fresh fun when we need it in our homeschool days. And so with milk, I did get myself two pairs of pants that I showed you when I was trying them on and these can definitely be dress pants and they can also be pants with a t-shirt. So they are the Gloria Vanderbilt and I got a black and I got to add tan and khaki type color and that is great and then I got some suit jackets so this nice taupe one which again I could wear with this dress I could also wear this this nice blue one again all of these are petite and this black one and even for church and stuff and I really liked the sleeves let's see you know me fashion blogger extraordinaire uh, I liked liked these how these sleeves were so oh and it's even gathered cute in the back so I was really happy with these I will wear them until I'm 54 at least uh, but yeah I'm happy with them and like I say they were my mama's got to do grown-up things attire are these these are faux pockets oh don't do faux pockets but that's okay anyway mama's a grown-up so thank you so much for going out in the, it was only 101 yesterday. Thank you so much for running around with me. We hit it hard and made it as far as we can. Like I said, in coming weeks, my kiddos will be going into Costco to finish out what is needed for fall. I have three kids, you know, there's three, my 12 year old, 14 year old, 16 year old. They just have to come with me. If I would have seen something in any of their sizes that looked like something they were they would like, I would pick it up. But just gonna be easier to have another day out and have them do their own picking and also fill in any other gaps for my younger crew. So thanks again so much, friends. I will talk with you in those comments below and I'll see you as soon as I can with another brand new video. Bye-bye.